put a apex email services so salesforce allows us to do a email services to manipulate your objects like through emails like you can send an email to a email i mean particular email service in salesforce based on the logic written you can able to update or create the existing records from the salesforce okay through emails only you don't want to log in if you want to update anything clear let me create one apex class sftx create apex class i'll say contact email service i'm saying this has a contact email service Okay. Contact email service because this is exposed. Whether this is calling from within the Salesforce or it should call from by external service. So this is should be called by external service, right? Inherited sharing. Okay. And here we need to implement a new one called implements. I am. P L E M E N T S implements. We have messaging dot inbound email header. Inbound email header. You need to implement an interface called messaging dot email inbound header. And then global messaging dot inbound results let me do results output i'll do a results output handle inbound email i'm saying i need to handle like whatever the data we are getting if you are sending email right you have a subject and you have a body and everything based on that based on that i need to update right so now let me handle my inbound emails <laughs> I'll say return null just to avoid that errors and the parameter I need to accept like messaging dot inbound email I'll say for this as email this is actually email that you will be sending up messaging dot inbound envelope this will have like a attachments if you need it like this will contains an attachments if you want to send anything like i'll say envelope i name it as a envelope now what we need to understand what is the written that we are doing here what is the written that we are doing i'll say result equal to result equal to what should i do new email results constructor i created and i'm returning my results as a return clear on this any questions till now okay and then now what i need to do i need to read the data i need to read the data from where i need to read the data from the email right so i'll read a data now i'll read a data in a way that string email body equal to email dot there are two things you have like a plain text body html body right you have a plain text html text so now I'm trying trying to read this as a plain text only. I'm not reading this as a HTML. Any questions? Clear, right? We have different methods. You can read email as a HTML. HTML means a rich text email email, isn't it? Like you have a bold and you have a special characters table and everything. Now I'm reading this as a simple text, just to avoid too many confusion.
so now what is my expectation here now what is my expectation if i am sending any email i need to create a task record for the contact i need to create a task record whenever it matches with whenever it matches with the contact email okay clear oh we have an object called task new task so how can i know that whether i have a contact or not how can i know whether i have a contact or not let's say contact con equal to select id comma first name comma last name from contact where email how to get my email here it's very simple email dot from the address we have like a form address right you have a form address from the email method so it's like a from where you are getting that email you know now i'm saying limit one so now you have your contact id isn't it now what i'll do task object dot description equal to i'm saying i'm sending what i'm setting description i'm setting as a email body right email body task object dot priority equal to here we have a few things like high low normal i'll say low only okay task object dot subject equal to email dot subject i am setting task object status equal to email subject task object dot is reminder set equal to false task object dot who id who id in the sense your parent id here okay con dot id and then insert task object and now we need to send a results the results also have different methods let's say control c dot success or fail now let me do one thing i'll create this in a try catch block okay i'll create this in a try catch block okay try catch exception e okay now instead of returning from here what i'll do i'll return from here uh, i'll return here only here i'll say result dot here if it is successfully completed it means what so your record is successful right your email service is successful isn't it result dot success equal to true what if it comes to exception that is wrong only right it means result dot success equal to false result dot message equal to e dot get message now even if you are sending email you should have a return right whether it is successful or not it's not just something like sending email and wait that time you will be losing your control on the system isn't it
okay now what we need to do we need to create an email service email service under custom code new email service so i'm keeping email service and my class name same it's just like a standard thing that i'm doing okay class i'm saying class name oh, really? it's not even accepting okay email service and i'm selecting my email service you can able to select only those classes email service yes whichever implements right that only it will accept accept attachments in this i'm saying binary attachments are all text attachments i'm saying attachments are none i'm not accepting any attachments advanced email security in the sense it will accept only like gmail.com it will accept only domains from the gmail.com it will not accept from any other things okay you understood or if you mention like email saying that from a particular admin at on domain it will accept only i am not setting this email security okay i am not setting you can define your emails i mean write people email address are like a particular domain like company domain and all this stuff okay i am activating it now it is like a failure over email rate action limit action if emails are sending too many things what is the message so either you can re requeue messages or bounce messages or discard now i am saying everywhere it discard requeue in the sense it will store in a queue and it will go to the next day and it will come back to the system that's what it means okay unauthentication standard we can say bounce or in this case we don't have any authentication this is like a security what should do if it is a wrong person that's it okay if i save if i save this now this is my email address now you need to create a new email address here new email address name i'll say contact task on contact so accept emails from context user this is a context users okay enter the email address or domain that are authorized to send emails to service separate okay here i am not sending here on see email service means it should execute as a user right if you are sending email from a third party system there should be some user in salesforce to execute that code that is called context users so whenever the email salesforce receives your email then as a lakshmi deepak this will execute this class clear now we got this email address okay now i'm sending an email this is the email address that you need to share with the customer that what you need to do here i'll say oh uh, where is the batch class that yesterday we were using account batch instead of set no reply i'll say that this is my email service and i'll say contact updates you understood what i did now yesterday i am sending a email service as a return to so if user replies to this automatically we will get an updated right either you can also do directly it's not just that you can go to your gmail or whatever email you wanted to go now let me go to contact do i have a email here uh lakshmideepak@gmail.com we have so compose email i'll set two address i'll say first contact task from email this is only for testing the 
data of email service I'm sending it message sent successfully or not I don't know now we'll go and we'll check there are two contacts with the same email now now which contact got updated I have no clue Uh, present company present quotes okay these are the two things that I'm opening because we are using limit right we are not using like uh, this one we are using limits we found potentially duplicate first check so you can have this one you can see this right next next account type okay cool so here we can see there is a contact got created let me delete it so here we got email right first contact ask from email got created isn't it this is only for testing data of email service so record got created successfully right so now let me tell you one thing what if it is what if it is like if my email address is not same then let's say edit email address I'll say 124 I'll save it my email address is wrong right now right isn't it oh one minute send items to contact mail first contact i'll say reply second update send now second update is the one i sent it we'll check whether we have anything mm. interesting my gmail itself is not loading properly there is a email comes I mean I can see there is error email came received through mobile here you can see right me what is the saying from where I got this email from Salesforce via salesforce.com what it is saying list has no rows for the assignment right because at a particular for this my email address there is no related contact here before it was gmail.com now it is one two three so when there is no contact you can't update your task right because there is no contact form isn't it so we got that error message you can see that right here list has no row for the assignment because it is one two three if i made it as a right then it will update properly from where we are passing that message we are passing from here you can see right you are saying get message e dot get message result false and e dot get message which will return a outbound email from this service any questions